You know, you think John's really going to like spring games. So, you know, I just, uh, you know, I thought we've had an excellent spring. I thought those guys came out and did some good things today. You know, we didn't play some of those guys for a reason. I mean, we know what K.O. can do. To, to a certain extent, we know what Shuler can do and Jeremiah Taylor and a couple of those guys. So we want to take a look at some of the younger guys and, uh, and go play. I thought there were some good things. The problem we have a little bit is we go so fast on offense, we want to run a certain number of plays. But if you play two four quarters, we're running two, 250 plays. And don't, you don't want that in spring game. So that's kind of what the, you know, we had well over 100 plays, which is fun. A little more energized about the defense this time. I am. I'm Chuck. I think you, know, you all seen it all spring. And uh, I think they've gotten better. I think not only has Chuck done a great job with them, you know, but uh, there's some good players. I mean, there's some additions out there that are making noise. I mean, you know, Corey Tindall's an excellent football player. You had a, you had a Corey Tindall. You had a Stephon Houston, a Taj Letton. You know, you had, uh, you've had a couple more here in a couple weeks. So, you know, I think just the talent level on that side of the ball has increased and they're getting the head coach out of them by Coach Heaton and Steph and some of those guys. Is there anything you saw, especially today in like that in that actual game situation, the first two quarters, that you like with the defense? Yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. Where I, I thought they did some good things. I, I, the thing I, I watch certain guys show up. You know, I watch number three show up a lot. I watch the four ten where you see him in there. I saw that one make some plays. And, and uh, you know, we're not game planning each other and that type of thing right now. We're just trying to get better as a team. So I, I thought they did some good things. And, uh, we'll take a look at the film and we'll have plenty of time to look at it. The good thing is. is They'll, get take, they'll take care of the finals uh, next week, uh, after week after next, and uh, give them their way to the program, which is critical. Is this sort of a treat for the guys just to get out here in front of fans? I know that they've uh, it's been a long month. And well, you know, the, difference, the difference in us in a lot of places is they get opportunity to get in front of fans about every day. <laughs> you know, a lot of places they lock people out and you don't get to see them except the spring game. So, you know, probably if we would lock people out the entire spring, we had a great crowd here, but our crowd made you know, it might be a little better. But it's, our, our guys enjoy playing in front of these people. And, you know, again, you know, our, our, we're trying to do a great job with our players of making them understand what they mean to our fan base. And, uh, you know, they were all at that ceremony this morning. If you heard those, those young Thunder and Herd players talk and Mike Hamrick and Dr. Sari and all those people that were at that presentation, uh, you know, our kids listen to that and uh, it's a heck of a deal. If all you set out to do this spring, how would you assess it as a whole now? Well, I thought, you know, we thought we had, we knew going in, you know, of course we had 15 practices and I think the thing you have to do as a football team is, you got to walk up field every day. Uh, every every day, one of those is a better player and a better team because you don't have any opportunities. So, I thought for the most part, I thought we took advantage of every day we had, whether it be shorts or padded up, and uh, and I thought it was a good spring. You know, I'm excited about uh, where we are at this point. We got, we got a long way to go, and we got a lot better for a bit. It's a transition. The guys sort of have to take care of themselves, and, and Sinclair is going to be on them. But it, but the focus is on weight room now. What what would you like to see the most out of the summer session? Well, we've got to become a stronger football team. You know, there's a lot of skill development that goes on. And there's a lot of things that uh, that Scott's done a great job in that weight room, and he'll continue to do that. So, you know, there's a lot of things that players can do on their own. And you know, having an experienced quarterback like Cato and Fronoppel both, you know, they're able to come out here and run the show and uh, and get a lot of things done on their own, which will help us. Did you get a little heavier on the run today? It just seemed that you know, I saw you know 20, 20, 42 getting a lot of carries. And I know you were work, wanting to work on kind of establishing the run well, this year. You know that you know it's the same old deal. I mean you know with the way our offense work, operates, you know they kind of take what they give you. And you know, we have a lot of run pass options, and at times, uh, evidently that uh, the box was. Uh, the number in the box count was right, so they ended up running the football instead of throwing it. But uh, it's, uh, well, we want to be able to run the football. You know, we were thirdly in rush with a rushing team in the conference a year ago, and it's important we can run the football, no doubt. Yeah, I think the Cato tucking and running more off the, I think that's what really kind of stood out. It's like, wait a minute, here he goes. He does well in a red jersey. I think we wear that red jersey on Saturday, he'd be all right. But uh, we'll see what he does when we put a green one or a white one on him. But uh, he's proud of himself. He's gotten a lot stronger, and he's, he's he likes his arms now. He even goes around now with showing his arms. Before that, they were right. so really so him. But, uh, you know, he's become, you know, he's he's working on becoming a better runner, becoming more physical, and he feels a lot better about that because he was a lot more stronger than he was a year ago, two years ago.